Escape to the Country couple Jenny and Steve first appeared on the BBC property show back in 2017 when they were on the hunt to find their perfect new home. A few years ago, Escape to the Country's Johnny Iwin showed Kent couple Jenny and Steve a series of properties as they wanted to switch from urban life to a rural small holding. Retired from the emergency services, the duo were ready for a quieter pace of life. They wanted to find a spacious three-bedroom property which had land to home Jenny's horses and a separate annex for Steve's elderly parents to join them. At the time, he commented, I just want to give back to my parents what they gave to me when I was young. With a budget of £900,000, Johnny showed them a series of options which all met their wish list. However, it looks as though the couple's joy at trying to find a multi-generational was soon shattered. Steve's mother sadly died before the move, with his father dying 18 months later. Revisiting the duo in 2021, presenter Sonali Shah highlighted how the couple, who didn't buy any of the houses on the show, didn't move until two years after appearing on Escape to the Country. Explaining the reason why, he said, Unfortunately, my mum died just before my father moved. She never got up here, unfortunately. My dad joined us, but he was never the same after my mum died. We tried to give him the best life we could here, but he just wasn't the same person without my mum. In the end, Jenny and Steve ended up buying a farmhouse in 2019, which was £120,000 under their budget of £780,000. Now, the couple have a barn and land, which is home to various animals, including two cows, ducks and turkeys. Mentioning that one of their reasons for wanting to move was to do with Steve's parents, Sonali asked, Is it still the right move for you as a family of four? Would you have done anything differently? Admitting he didn't think he'd change anything, Steve gave some advice to those thinking of making the countryside move. He added, Don't walk into it thinking it's all going to be roses because it is not. You'll have ups and you'll have downs. It's great, but it's also a hard slog. Although the couple suffered a double family heartbreak, viewers were pleased to hear some good news for Jenny and Steve. In a twist, Jenny's mum and stepdad were planning on moving from Kent to Norfolk as well, to be closer to the family. This isn't the first tragic loss seen on the revisited show, as in spring 2023, host Denise Nurse went to see Angela at her North Wales home. In her first appearance on the BBC series, Angela and her husband, Neil, wanted to enjoy their retirement in the countryside to mark their silver wedding celebration. However, it was sadly revealed that Neil died in 2021, two and a half years after they'd found their dream property. Angela said, I lost Neil, his health deteriorated and I lost him, and it was hard after that. I couldn't plan things, it was like my brain had fried. However, she told Denise that since getting her dog Teddy, it's helped massively coping with her loss as she's managed to get out of the house more. 